15 advanced Canva tips and tricks. Hi guys, today I will share with you 15 advanced Canva tips and tricks that you must try to apply with your Canva designs today. So if you don't have an account yet here on Canva, then you can create your account or sign up for free. Just click the link in the description below to sign up for free. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, filter photos by color and orientation. You can do this by going to your elements and here, for example, we search for portrait and over here you see the results. It's a mixture of everything. You can filter it based on colors and orientation here and you can also filter static or animated like moving objects and also free or premium. Number two, how you can add hyperlinks to text for PDFs presentation. So for example, this one over here, you want to save this as PDF and also you want this text here to be like clickable and insert your website URL or attach a link for your specific file like Google Share file. So what you can do is highlight the text and then over here at the top right corner, you have this chain icon. Click on it and you can add your own URL link here. Number three, animation combination. For social media, it's really fun to see some animated graphics and you can also do some animation graphics here in Canva and it's a free feature. So for example, let's go back to our homepage and let's look for Instagram stories. Okay, let's make use of this. Now we have these graphics. Let's add animation combination. So just go to animation up here and here, these are the combined animation. And from this animation, it has two or three animation added already. While this other animation down here, they are just a single animation. Number four, how to use Canva frames. Here on Upwork, you have ton of frames to choose from. For example, from this design, you can see this image here. And if I delete the image, now you see this is a frame. Go into elements and search for frames. You'll see a ton of different frames as well. So to add your photo inside the frame, you just need to select your own photo, drag and drop it inside the frame. Number five, how to follow Canva creators. So here in Canva, there are also different creators who share their work or templates. So let's go back to our home dashboard and here on the left side corner, just click on templates. And for example, we're looking for Instagram story templates and here you have plenty of templates. And down here, you also have the creators of these templates. So I like this one. I can check the profile of this creator here. And here is the other templates from this creator as well. Also, this creator has its own elements and you can follow this creator for you to see more of this creator's elements and templates. Number six, create a brand kit. This is good if you want to create your own social media brand. So to create your own brand kit from the home dashboard you have here under tools, brand, click on it. And now you can add your own logos here. And then you can also add your color palette and also your font style. And when we go back to our design, and for example, I will go to color and you'll see here, these are the color palette that we have in our three different brand kit. Number seven, attach lines to elements. To have something like this, so to do that, I have my shapes here and let me just add some line and then make sure that you pointed your arrow to the end of the line for the dots to show up. And then move the line near the shapes and it will show the five dots you just need to connect the line dot to shape dots and with that you attach the line to this element then you can also do that to other shapes and then you can freely move these shapes and the lines. Number eight, create a logo. So simply search for logo from your home dashboard and you'll see different logo templates and what you can do is make use of these templates as your inspiration or your starting point to create your own logo. For example, I will select a template here, then I will just change the name, and then I can also adjust the spacing and also change the color. Number nine, Canva color wheel. So you just need to go to canva.com slash colors and here you have your color wheel and just click on the color wheel and you will see here the color you can make use of from the Canva. Number 10, tidy up feature to align element. So for example, here I have different social media element and it's quite challenging for me to make sure if I have an equal spacing to each of this. 
and it's time consuming to do it manually as well. So the fastest way to make sure that you align your elements and spacing are equal is make use of the tidy up feature. So just highlight the elements and then go to position, select tidy up down here. Now the elements are perfectly aligned. Number 11, search by brand or creator. So for example, when you search for elements, let's type here aesthetic. So here you have the result. And from this, you can also see these three dots. Select it and you can view the artist or creator as you can see here. And also you can view more elements from this creator for you to get more elements or photos with the same vibes or mood. Since all the designs that you can see now is from one creator. Number 12, filter search results. So here, instead of scrolling, finding the best photo to use in your designs, you can just filter the search result instead. For example, click here, you can filter the color. Let's say we look for color blue, and you can see the result shows photos with blue color. So that's the fastest way to do that. Number 13, color palette generator. So here we are in Canva color. So just go to canva.com slash colors again. And you have here the color palette generator. So if you find an attractive photo and you like to make use of the color from the image, just upload the image and this tool will give the colors that you have from that image. Number 14, new smart mockups. So from your home dashboard here on the left corner, you have your tab for smart mockups. And when you click on it, you have plenty of options here different mock-ups that you can make use of in your design you can just upload your own photo to these mock-ups and lastly the number 15 tip and tricks find and replace text so if you have a long presentation or a long pdf file and you want to change a specific text then here's how you can do it to make your work easier and faster from the top left corner go to file and you have here find and replace text or you can do the shortcut key control for windows and command to mac user then f and here just enter the text or word that you want to find and here you just need to type the text you want to replace and I guess that's all for today's video. And by the way, if you don't have any Canva account yet, then no worries. You can sign up for free and get the pro plan trial for 30 days. No credit card needed and also 30 day money back guarantee. Paid plans start as low as $10 per month after your free trial. So I hope you learned something today and thank you so much for watching.